check out Masjid Kantara. Look at this construction, mashallah, subhanallah. It's a pretty large size masjid, mashallah. I probably accommodate close to 100 people. We'll stop right here. I would like to be up there, but still, it's okay. Alhamdulillah. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Haris Lim Dhidi. And as you just saw, this video is about Majid Kantara in Taif. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to give a quick synopsis of what Majid Kantara is. So Majid Kantara actually has a couple of different names. One of them is Majid Madhun. Another is Majid Ali bin Abi Talib. And this Majid is located right across the site where the Prophet Wasallam rested after the event of Taif. That happened to be a farm and that was the farm where there was a Christian worker who offered um, some food, I believe, to the Prophet Wasallam, and later also became Muslim as well. Alhamdulillah. Now, this masjid was built during the Ottoman era about 162 years ago. And, and the way that it was built was a very ancient style. So it makes it seem like it's ancient, but it's really not. It's only 162 years old, which kind of is technically a little bit ancient. One of the unique things about it is that there's a, a circular stairway in the minaret which I actually go through. So I'll be showing you guys footage of that. I went through a lot of danger going through the steps. No, I'm kidding. It was not that big of a deal, alhamdulillah. But uh, please do make sure to like this video and drop any comments that you'd like, any questions that you might have. And let's begin. Okay, so this is Masjid al Ku, the area of Masjid al Ku. I'm leaving this Masjid, I'm just waiting for the driver to come by. And we're going to Masjid Ali bin Abi Talib, aka Masjid Kantara. Okay, we're pulling up to Masjid Kantara. I'm gonna get out of the car. Okay, G. This is called Majid Ali. Specifically, Majid Ali ibn Abi Talib. AKA Masjid Kantara. If you have a little bit of uh, difficulty walking, just watch out for these steps. I'm going to take my shoes off right here. So let's check out this outside prayer area. Oh, you know what? Um, I don't know why they have one of the Janamazes facing the wrong way. It's the opposite direction. Kaaba is in the opposite direction. Look at the construction of this mashallah, it looks so historic. But it's only 162 years old if I'm not mistaken. Bismillah. Bismillah. Here's the interior of Masjid Kantara. Looks like it was renovated not too long ago. Pretty good shape, mashallah. Sorry, there's a lot of road noise here. Check out the roof, mashallah. Oh, look at this. People are putting their names and vandalizing these historic mosques. I don't know why they do this. Stuff for Allah. Allah Pak Une Hidayat for my. It's a pretty large size masjid, mashallah. I could probably accommodate close to 100 people. This is where the Imam leads the prayer. And yeah, you can see same thing vandalizing stuff for Allah. I don't understand what is the purpose of this. Like, literally, what is the purpose of people putting their names? Islamically historic sites. I don't understand what is the purpose behind that. All I can say is that these people must be. Not educated enough. There's a view of the road. You can see my car right there. Beautiful masjid. Let's go to the minar now. I'm actually kind of excited for this. Bismillah. You know what? Let me wear my shoes. Oh, 
my sunglasses fell. Whoops. All right. Oh, this is a little bit of a uneven surface. Beautiful Minar. That must be a storage area or something. You can see the roof of the masjid. I'm not going to step on the roof of the masjid because it's historic and I am afraid it might break or something. Look, people threw garbage over here. Stuff for Allah. That is one of the gardens right there. And this is the general area where the Prophet Wasallam rested after Taif Kavakia. And where the Christian gardener assisted the Prophet وسلم, and later on became Muslim as well, Alhamdulillah. You can see out this little window, a little bit hard to see. Sorry, it's very sunny. It's actually a really cool feeling just walking in this. I feel like I'm traveling back in time. This is a big window. Beautiful view, mashallah. Now we're pretty high up. There's a mountain right there. Ooh, I'm, I'm starting a little bit exhausted. And uh, I think this is closed right here. I don't think I can climb this part. This is the very top of the Minar, but I don't think I can climb here. It's a pretty big step. I can try climbing over this, but I don't want to break something on here, you know. So, we'll stop right here. I would like to be up there, but still, it's okay. Alhamdulillah. Look at this view of the stairs. It's really cool, actually, to be honest. Each step is pretty steep compared to a normal standard step, to be honest. It's a little. It's probably like one and a half normal steps. So do keep that in mind if you do intend to come here, inshallah. Here we go again with the names. Crazy. I don't know how they even reach that, but... People are daredevils nowadays, I guess. What an experience, mashallah. Here's the back. You can't access the back though. But seriously, what an experience, mashallah. Really awesome minar. Here's the praying area again. The kibla is that way. They left the Jahannamaz in the wrong direction. I don't know why. Maybe just for sitting. And, uh, that was the end of this Ziyara video. Please make sure to like this video, drop a comment, and also subscribe, hit the bell icon. Stay up to date with the latest Ziyara video. Inshallah. <laughs>